Hello everyone, it's Robert with Sparkfun Electronics, and it's Friday, so of course we have more new products to talk about. We've also got another contest this week, so make sure you watch the whole video, and we've got some stuff to give away. So first up, we've got this nifty little pot. This is slightly different than most potentiometers, in that it has a push-on and push-off shaft. So as you can see, you can push it in and push it out. This is the same thing that you would find in like a car stereo or something like that. So if you mount it, you can have it so that the actual shaft here will recess in and then pop out when you need it and then go away when you don't. And this is a 10K standard pot with nice panel mount, so check these out. For those of you not familiar with stepper motors, they're pretty unique. They're really good to use in industrial applications or any application where you need precise movement. A stepper motor is different from a normal motor in that it has precise steps along each revolution. This particular motor has 48 steps per revolution which means that it takes 48 different commands or different steps to get it to turn once all the way around. Now what that means is if you have this connected to a lead screw or something else that where you're trying to move something, you need to send it 48 steps to go one whole revolution, of course. The nice thing about that is you can precisely control how much you want that thing to move. Uh, this particular motor has a 3 millimeter shaft and has about 9 ounce per inch of torque. So if you're looking for a smaller stepper motor or the other one that we carry, you might want to check these out for your next control application. So we've been doing a little bit of house cleaning and moving around here and we found some products that are perfectly good to sell, but we just need to get rid of them. First off, we've got this soldering iron stand. It is your basic run-of-the-mill soldering stand. It's got a nice heavy metal base a pan for a sponge, and of course the little spring tip holder thing. We found a whole box of these, and these actually have been used in one of our soldering classes, so they have some minor dents and dings on them, but of course it's still perfectly functional, so if you're looking for just a cheap iron stand, check these out. In addition, SparkFun used to have this company into rowing, and it was essentially a rowing computer, and this was the case for it. And we have a lot of these cases left over, and we don't have any use for them, so we figured we'd show you what you can use one for, and if you want to get one to store some components, you can get one of these. It has these two main openings. It's got one on the bottom, and it's got a large one on the top. And we've got one filled up, and let me just show you an example of what it looks like when it's fully loaded. Thankfully, this actually works well with our round part storage bin. And in top, you can actually fit quite a bit. We've got some solder, flux pen, FTDI with cable, and we've got a patch, we've got a mug in here with some electrical tape, some wire, some various headers and whatnot. We've also got a plug-in wall wart, a card reader, and a 9-volt battery. So we fit all this in here. So if you're just looking for a simple carrying case to carry around some parts, check this out. And the contest this week is to actually give away all of this. So if you follow me, I'll explain the contest. So here is the contest. To win this case loaded up with everything that we just showed in a video, we're going to have to guess a number. Behind me, we've got the mold that was used to make the plastic pieces that fit together to make the actual in 2 kit, which fit inside of this bag. These are the plastic pieces that this mold would make, and these plastic pieces came out to about 80 cents. However, the mold was substantially more than that. So, what you have to do is guess how much this mold cost, the entirety of this mold, in 2006 when we were building the N2 unit. It is a relatively large number, so keep that in mind when guessing. The person that is closest, without going over, let's do prices right rules, um, by midnight on Wednesday of next week, send your guesses to contest at sparkfun.com. The person that is closest without going over will win this case loaded up with everything that we showed in the video. So there you have it, new product post and a contest. We'll see you again next Friday.